What's up, beautiful Gemini? I'm super excited to connect to you, beautiful souls. You are my last sign. It's pretty late out here. It's, uh, I think, 1 a.m. I hope I say this correct. Yes, it's 1 a.m. Um, so I hope I won't stumble over my words too much. You can use this reading for your sun, moon, or rising. Or if you are cross-watching for a lover, a soulmate, a twin flame, a friend, a child, or whoever. Don't forget to switch up the roles so you can see what they are growing, going through, growing through. That was interesting. Um, now I'm going to use my cards. I'm going to tune in. The way we're going to do this is that I'm going to give you some overall energy of this month by using the cards and whatever messages come through. I will look at the light and the shadow side for you of this month. And then I will go into the relationship, work, health and healing. I'm going to take a lot of breeders through this reading to center myself enough because I'm a little bit tired. Going into your energy. So when I prepared for your reading, <clears throat> I saw a lot of smoke and then I heard a lot of smoke but no fire. And then I saw some sort of cottage. I think it's a cottage. It was a pretty one, small one. And I saw bundles of sage hanging there, drying. And then I heard stocking up. Interesting. What I think and feel when I tune into what I saw is that I feel like um, there might be some things happening um, around you that may think make there that make whoa see that are making you think that something is a certain way and it actually is something different a lot of smoke and no fire some of you all might feel like you need to watch out for something and um, it might not be the thing that you actually think it is I uh, feel like stocking up, um, stocking up the bundles of sage has everything to do with you needing to clear your energy um, um, in order for you to vibrate higher and move into the next state of your life. Because I definitely feel some very big opportunities coming up, opportunities in both relationships, uh, feel opportunities business wise where you need to make a certain decision. Um, and I feel like there will be some decisions that are going to like you need to make back to back. And I kind of feel like you there's a lot of smoke and that creates a situation where you're not able to see the entire picture or not able to see the entire thing uh, ahead. Um, but <clears throat> there's no fire. Sorry, I had to cough there. <clears throat> sorry again so i definitely feel that there are some things left unsaid in a certain situation there are some things that you need to express there are some things that you're not saying because you don't want to get burned not i hear not i i hear you don't want to get burned again so for some of you i feel like you might feel like you are exposing your by expressing yourself you might be exposing yourself to being burned again and i kind of feel like this is this is definitely it because my throat is getting clearer and what a lot clearer <sighs> this is actually not the case you are able to express yourself you are able to move ahead without getting burned because yes there is smoke you might not see the entire picture you might not have all the answers or you might not have uh you might not see the outcome of whatever like you might speak up on something and then not knowing where it's going to lead you but speaking whatever is bothering you or whatever's on your heart will set you free is what i'm hearing um then we got the card reclaim 
so when you see this you see actually a bunny here um and the bunny energy is kind of telling me that it's important for you um I'm, I'm i'm seeing the bunny and in my mind's eye i'm hearing slow and steady wins the race and i know of the story of the bunny and i think it's the it's not the snail I don't know, I'm, I'm tired. I don't know the word for it. Um, but you know the story about the bunny. The bunny is like um, um, racing against... Um, yes, had to take a, a moment, a second to think about the word. Um, I had the word and I lost it. Turtle, thank you. That wasn't that hard. Okay, tired, tired. Keep remembering, tired. Um, so yes, so the turtle and the bunny um, are in a race with one another. And the turtle is, of course, pretty slow. You could say a snail too. Um, but the bunny is uh, running and then all of a sudden it takes a nap because it thinks, oh, the turtle is way behind. I'm just going to take things slow. I'm going to take my time. And I will win this race while taking a nap. And while the, tur the, the the bunny is taking a nap, uh, I see the turtle coming closer and closer and winning the race. This is actually telling you to not be the bunny this month. Don't be the bunny. Um, don't sleep on a certain situation. Don't wait too long. Don't think you already got this in the pocket. Um, there are some things that you still need to take care of in order to win the race. That's definitely what I'm getting. Um, reclaim or claim your power. Claim whatever you try to achieve. Claim um, uh, your space in a certain relationship. Claim your dreams. And claim a certain job. The race is not already over. Uh, the race is, the, the, you haven't won the race yet, is what I'm hearing. So you kind of need to put some more effort into the situation. Um, and this is a good thing because it will keep you on your toes. Uh, so don't be too arrogant, beautiful Geminis. Um, don't be too sure of yourself this month. And I'm not saying this to, to break down your confidence. No, I'm definitely not. I'm just telling you this because I definitely want you to win. And, um, um, Overestimating yourself will create a situation where you will not win the race or where you will be finishing last. And you don't want to finish last. Not when it comes to this opportunity ahead. So, moving into the light and the shadow. Whew, tired, my eyes start twitching. So, when I'm talking about the light... I'm talking about your conscious mind. I'm talking about your higher self, your intuition, the things you are aware of, the things that you perceive as favorable or positive. And then when, whoa, again, uh, when I'm looking at the shadow side, I'm looking at uh, your subconscious mind, your super conscious. I'm looking at the things you are not aware of, the things that you are hiding, your ego, uh, the things that you perceive as negative or as not so favorable or not so fun. Um, and I pulled for you in the light side, blind enthusiasm, and we got a four and a two. And the uh, funny is that I pulled this, I think, for three signs in, in today's energy already. Um, um, and uh, talking about the four and the two, four is all about stability, uh, roots, foundation, um, 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 get uh, here getting things together, things coming together, and then we get the two talking about relationships, talking about uh, opportunities, chances, possibilities, polarities, um, uh, things coming together again, things coming together. So, what I feel for you when I'm looking at your light side this month is that I feel like you need to open up a little bit more and be more impulsive. Um, I feel like there is a decision at hand that might be related to a certain partnership or might be related to um, something to do with your foundation. Um, and I feel like you um, need to stop overthinking. I feel like you're in your mind a lot uh, when it comes to should I do this? Should I should I move in this direction? Should I even entertain this idea? Should I even entertain this person? Should I even um, <coughs> give it to me? 
Thank you. Should I even trust myself, trust the opportunity when I'm not able to see this far ahead? Will it e I feel like you want um you either want to have some clarity or you want to know what you're up to or up against if you're up against a turtle or if you're up against a horse when you are doing the race i kind of feel like you want to have some clarity or want to have some sort of understanding here that you're not yet getting but in the light it's in the light side so it's actually asking you to be more impulsive and to be more open and to spread your wings and to explore your foundation and explore this opportunity and to move ahead with with trust when I'm looking at the shadow sides of things we got open contact and it is reversed and we got an eight and a nine so I definitely feel so my voice is jumpy so I definitely feel again <clears throat> so I definitely feel with open contact there is something that is on your on your uh, on your in your throat chakra something that you need to say um that's either creating some sort of that's very emotionally like there's some emotion there that you're either not able to explain <clears throat> or you're not able to control <clears throat> Yes, so there's some emotion there that you're not able to explain or not able to control um, when it comes to a certain connection, a certain contact point, something that needs to be addressed, something that needs to be said. And I definitely feel like we got the eight here. This is a, about a karmatic situation, a karmatic relationship. This could be soulmate, twin flame relationship, but this could also mean... Um, a karmatic situation that you're working on or working out of this is strange working uh working out trying to get get through a situation you're kind of trying to get through and we're talking about the the smoke and no fire so i definitely feel like um there might be a situation that's creating um a lot of imbalance or a lot of like um not enough clarity like things are, might be very confusing for you or the communication might be very confusion confusion very confusing sorry very confusing for you um and i definitely see like this is an in an ending situation so this is um the situation is coming full start the situation is coming full cycle for you a uh, beautiful gemini and I kind of feel like you are learning to see things from different perspectives and um, you are able to take from certain communications this month. This could be communications on the work field, love relationships, family members. Communication is a thing for you this month. And I kind of feel like... <clears throat> Oh, it's definitely time for you to speak up. It's definitely time for you to address certain emotions. Um, even if it's just expressing them or owning up to them for yourself. Um, maybe write them down or speak them, like speak it out loud. Um, so they will not like be bottled up in your heart space. Um, and create a more pure way of connecting with the people around you and connecting with yourself so that you will not feel um, like you are in danger if that makes any sense and for some of you this might mean um, that you are able to see things for what they actually are and not be either ahead of yourself or are um, co too cocky some of you are in an energy that you're kind of cocky or kind of um I don't want to say full of yourself. I don't know what's this energy. Show it to me. Let me see. Give it to me, please. What's the energy of cockiness, of being overconfident or thinking we got it already in the pockets? Okay. Okay. So we got long term, uh, I'm sorry, we got long term goals, uh, four and five, and then we got three and nine in balance in the positive polarity. So I kind of feel like, um, you might feel, uh, some of you might feel a little bit entitled or might feel a little bit cocky because you think you already got it in the pocket because of some past 
positive experience or because you done good in a certain race in the past already um, but this is actually um, a situation where you need to find some harmony with being confident and um, still working very hard towards your goal and towards what you actually want by expressing what it is that you need from a certain situation from a certain a person from a certain either in your job or there's something that you need to address here um, that is of importance for you mm -hmm. um, little fly um, is from important is of importance for you to come full circle and to change whatever you are uh, trying to wait to change a certain situation to change the smoke to take away the smoke in order for you to have a clear vision on where to go where to move into next this has to do with your long term long-term goals so this is definitely something that you are working on really hard or have been working on for a very long time something you really crave or something you really want or something you would like to achieve or something that has been lingering for a very long time um, four has to do with in your foundation foundation stability and five with it being a challenge so whatever situation you are facing it has been a challenging situation for some time but four and five together is a nine creating like three nines in a row here for you um talking about this situation will be ending pretty soon and it will leave you with some clarity um, and it will help you move forward and and achieve your long-term goals yes beautiful Gemini so now we'll be moving into your relationship area and looking into your relationship area I'm talking about the relationship with your soulmate twin flame love also family member children family member children on the work front but also the relationship with yourself I don't know if I said this already the self but otherwise, it would be very important to self this month. Give me a clear message for Gemini, please. So, this is in Dutch. And I'm going to pronounce it in English. Uh, it says, a relationship from a past life. You guys have known each other from a past life. That's what it says. Then it says, stepping outside of your comfort zone. South of North Node, North Node. So, <clears throat> what I definitely feel um, um, when it comes to relationship, well, some of you are definitely dealing with a twin flame relationship, with a soulmate relationship, and you need to come clean about either your feelings or you need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to express certain things that have not been dealt with. You have to, um, um, just talk. I feel like there's something that needs to be worked out for you, Gemini people, when it comes to a past life relationship, um, and I feel like um, you will be finishing up or you will be ending this cycle with this person and moving into a new cycle. Because we all know um, when when we have relationships from our past lives, um, this, this can be a soulmate relationship, this could be a twin flame relationship or a soul contract. These, I feel like the situation is not done yet. Um, so this person will move in, uh, this person... This soulmate energy, this twin flame energy, this uh, karmatic relationship, this relationship from a past life is moving with you into your new cycle. But it's going to have a different dynamic than it has before. Uh, you will have a deeper understanding of what you feel for this person or what this person feels for you or there will be some communication that needs to be um uh, open we had open communication just now where you need to be stepping out of your comfort zone and i kind of feel like you can move this i hear you can drive this bus home so you will be creating the the foundation of the new dynamics of this relationship in the next cycle of your life um for the people that are not dealing with <clears throat> twin flame relationships uh or soulmate relationships i definitely feel like uh, a situation from the past um in this lifetime 
um, has creating a situ has created a, a, a situation, a relationship, a moment in your relationships right now or in yourself, the relationship with yourself, where you do not feel comfortable with this person right now, or you do not feel comfortable with yourself right now, and you kind of need to push yourself um, to look past the past and move into the future with more confidence and not confidence from a cocky point of view and um, because that's kind of more of an insecurity type of confidence but more as in um i feel confident that i've learned my lesson from the past and i'm ready to move forward with all the lessons that i have learned um, and attract something better um, achieve something better uh, gain more love more stable more healthy relationships with both myself and other people so this is what i got for you <clears throat> when it comes to love and relationships then we will be moving into your work situation and moving into work Talking about work, I'm talking about, go away, fly. Talking about uh, jobs, works, studies, school, higher self, uh, higher self, higher purpose, uh, your soul's mission, gaining financial flow, stability, material, um, and gaining knowledge or helping other people. So we got listen and we got knife. So tuning into your situation when it comes to work, I kind of feel like uh, you need to observe a little bit more um, uh, when it comes to which direction you need to go into next. Um, observe, um, be very mindful before you brush your head. Again, um, um, there is definitely a need for you to clear off some old energy, to change up some old things, to brush off some old things, to cut off some old things, uh, ways of thinking, um, people um, in, in work life, uh, certain standards or ways of doing things. You need to switch up some things, uh, cut a little bit deeper. I hear cut a little bit deeper. And when I'm talking about cutting a little bit deeper, when it comes to work, I definitely feel like you need to put in some extra energy. You need to put them some extra work again we already talked about this but then in different different words i kind of feel like this is kind of saying the same thing um i feel success will be uh, in reach if you observe if you listen uh if you communicate in a good and healthy manner so now we will be moving into Health. And I'm talking about health as in um, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and any other health that you can think of. For Gemini, please. <clears throat> Yes, so we got Starseed for you, beautiful Gemini, and Starseed says, what lights you up? And then we got Bounty, and Bounty talks about reap and harvest, effort and reward, abundant payout and wealth. So what is this talking about when it comes to health? I definitely feel like your health situation uh, might be pretty good or might be changing for the better. Uh, there might be some uh, emotional issues going on or some emotional stuff coming to the surface that might be bugging you in a mental type of way. Um, and you kind of need to think things over. What is it that you actually want? What is it that you actually feel? Uh, and which direction you want to go into? Um, um, it's time for you to take some time off this month to get things clear and, and, and make sure that you are making the right decision from the right point of view. I definitely feel like you need to eat healthy <clears throat> in order to um, uh, create that, uh, create a situation where your body, your mind, your spirit, uh, your emotions are in the best possible way. Vibration is what I'm hearing. P best possible vibration. I definitely see you succeeding. I see you working hard. So you might be working out a lot. You might be um, also working on uh, getting into better health uh, for some of you. Some of you might be spending a lot of money on getting better health or uh, gaining knowledge. <clears throat> this is a good thing. And this will definitely pay out. Your uh, Pay off, pay off and pay out. 
financially um but i definitely feel like you will be attracting a lot of abundance by uh, working on your mental health emotional health spiritual health and physical health this month beautiful gemini now <clears throat> i will be moving into your healing cards Don't bother me, fly. Go away. So, for Gemini, what healing energy message? What do they need to focus on? What needs to be healed? What needs to be addressed? Or what can they do to heal themselves? Sorry, this fly is bugging me. Yes, thank you. Okay, I like this. Okay, what do I got for you? We got abundance planning. Wait, let me see it like this. I want you to see it clear. Yes. And then we got create an altar. <laughs> this fly will not stop. So what uh, what do you need to heal? So I definitely feel that some of you all need to uh, work on healing some ancestral issues uh, when it comes to money, uh, generational issues. So your family might have been um, having some issues with lack or um, uh, with poverty um, that you are trying to break free from. Um, this goes for some Geminis, not all Geminis, of course, because it's a general reading. Um, but I definitely feel it's very important for you to heal your relationship with money and to Focus on um, saving a, a, a part of your money. I hear doing a jar system. Um, so that's a system where you work on your financial freedom account, where you work on saving uh, for short term, saving uh, for um, um, spend long term, and that you can spend. And then a freedom account where you put your money in that you're never touching. Um, creating account for some like something like investing, uh, for playful things, for your bills and then education so I'm getting some irritation here so for some of you this might be something that's really hard uh, something you don't want to hear some of y'all don't uh, feel very irritated when it comes to a certain situation with money or you might feel like somebody is not hearing you or you will not be you don't hear some situation when it comes to a money issue What is this? It's more than just that. Let me see how many more cards. Because I definitely feel like I'm almost getting an allergic. Okay. One more, please. Oh, we're getting two. Okay. So I asked where is the um, um, uh, energy coming from that I kind of feel like I'm having some sort of um, allergic reaction i'm getting embracing transition then i'm getting seeing the one and i'm getting forgiveness and gratitude <clears throat> So uh, the irritation that I'm feeling is that I feel like you're going through uh, a change, uh, through a transition where you need to be mindful of your financial situation. Um, in connection with family members, maybe somebody is asking some sort of, sort of money or maybe there is some issue in the family um, that, that is asking for a, a money or asking somebody might be asking for a loan or there might be something where you need to pay a lot of money um, 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 or pay double for something to get to your family or to be with your family or to do something for your family members. Um, and this is creating some sort of situation for you and I kind of feel like um, um, somebody is to blame here um, or somebody's to blame this might be out of your um, out of your uh, influence somebody else might be creating this situation for you and it's very important for you to be mindful that you are forgiving that you are uh, patient with this person and compassionate with this person um, I definitely feel with this card also that is very important for you. Uh, you can definitely create an altar <clears throat> if you would like to. But uh, this might be important to connect to your grandparents, to your parents, um, or maybe even to some people that have passed. There might be some day coming up for somebody that has passed um, that you love a lot or that you... Um, somebody of importance in your family is 
needing some attention or some energy and with this transition uh, energy i kind of feel like there might be a situation where somebody has just crossed over um, a family member or somebody that you love in the family or somebody of importance for you um, has might have crossed over and there might be some money issues surrounding um surrounding the, the burying of the person or surrounding that situation. So this is the energy that I'm picking up for you. Beautiful Gemini. Take whatever resonates with you. I'm fighting with the fly. <laughs> so if you see me doing this type of stuff. It's because I try to keep the fly out of the out of front of the camera. I'm tired. I'm going to stop. I love you guys. Goodbye. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you did not already. I'm too tired to finish the rest of this reading. Uh, give you my all. Gave you my all. Sending you all my love. Goodbye.